This is everything you need to know about the BS plus MS physics degree in IIT Madras. I am Yashodhan. I am a fifth year student in this course. Uh, I'll finish this degree. Hopefully, no, I'll finish this degree next year. And uh, so I made, I wrote a core answer about this degree when I was a second year and or a first year. I don't even remember. It garnered a lot of views and it helped people. And I now that I'm fifth year, I think I should make it in a better way. And this is what this is. Uh, please share this with your 11, 12 standard student friends, whatever who are interested in knowing this because my channel reaches absolutely nothing. Uh, so let me start by introducing you to the BS plus MS degree. So it's it's Bachelor of Science plus Master of Science. Masters, I'm, I'm not sure. But uh, it's not an engineering degree, obviously. This is not engineering physics. This is a pure science degree. So you're not, even though you're in, a, in an IIT, you're not going to be an engineer. You're going to be a pure scientist. Um, you could decide to stay in the field, go for a PhD and become a physicist, astronomer or other things, biophysics, like nuclear physics and uh, theoretical physics, experimental physics, high energy physics, optics, photonics, um, you could go for technical fields also, you could also go for computer science, who knows, so it's the, the physics is a very basic subject to study and uh, depending on what courses you do in this, uh, like you have, you, you're going to have a lot of electives to do, so depending on what you do, it it will decide your um, specification. Now, physics is an amazing thing to study, right? Like Einstein, Schrodinger, Newton, uh, Galileo. Few of the greatest people have been in history have been physicists, and people respect physicists a lot because it's something difficult to study. I'm not I think there's no script. I'm just uh, I, I just need something to have, hold. Um, so let me tell you that physics uh, life of a scientist is much different so when you're studying je you are kind of looking at people who went for placements you're hearing this 80 lakh packages etc etc and that's not gonna be your life like you're not gonna work in samsung or uh, i mean if you want to work that's fine but uh, if you want to stay in the field that's not gonna be your life you can go into research and development and uh, you can go into uh, military technology like you know manhattan project <laughs> elon musk has a degree in physics although i don't like that guy he's destroyed the night sky and i'm an astronomer so i definitely hate him but you i'm just giving you an idea what a degree in physics can do now this is a five-year degree uh, and there is no three plus two or whatever in this degree like um, bsc is three years and msc is two years so people think it's five plus two and for a three plus two and for engineers they have BTEC plus MTEC in five years and then it feels like you're uh, gaining one year because MTEC takes two years, BTEC takes four years. There's something like that because in Kanpur there is just BS and then if you want to do an MSc or MS after that it takes two years. So yeah, you are saving an year. That's that's good. So, uh, but let me come back uh, to the JE part of it. So when I was in writing JE, I didn't know what I wanted to do. So, uh, I was just liking what I was studying, physics, chemistry, maths and biology um, and I I didn't think about what I wanted to be when I finally gave the exam and um, uh, so mechanical engineering is one of the things that I was considering uh, but when I looked at the courses, like that's something I recommend all of you to do if you want, you're taking a degree then you go and look at the courses and if, if the names appear to you then do it like for physics i was seeing quantum mechanics and uh, statistical physics and high energy physics optics or uh, classical mechanics general relativity and that that really appealed to me i wanted to study that while as for mechanical engineering piston dynamics and um, fluid mechanics those things were not quite uh, tuning like they, in, so in JE physics was my best subject and it was my most favorite subject. I loved it. I absolutely love studying uh, Resnick Halidic Crane and uh, solving from HC Verma etc. And so I physics was not a very difficult choice to make. I love physics. I love physicists. Although I'm, I'm going into astronomy now. Uh, but I still love theoretical. It's just that. 
So PhDs is one one of my first concerns about going into science was PhD, and that I thought that PhD would be like an another degree after uh, after BS plus MS. I just have to keep doing degrees after degrees after degrees like this medical people do, and just tired of it. Like you know, you you do JE and you don't want to give any exams. So uh, let me tell you that PhD is work. It's like it's it's actually work. It depends on what kind of program you enter. For example, in the US, the for the people who do B Tech and then go for the PhD, they do a one year of grad school where they just you know do lectures and uh, normal college stuff. And after one year, they decide a project and then they work on it. While as in Europe, you directly start working, like literally working as a scientist. So PhD is work. You get paid. You get housing allowance. Uh, you get housing, and then it, it's it's fine. Like it's 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 good. And I'm quite looking forward to doing my PhD next year. Um, I hope this ages well. This ages very well. Please, <laughs> because I'm starting to apply for PhDs and um, and I I don't know if I should have good hope for anything. So. Um, one of the questions that uh, you might have would be about ICERs. That ICERs also offer um, BS plus MS degrees and IITs. Like uh, IIT Madras has BS plus MS physics, then IIT Kanpur has BS physics, IIT Kharagpur has MSc physics, integrated MSc. I mean MSc physics is I, I guess in lot of IITs. Uh, MSc physics is something that you do after BSc, and this is for BS plus MS physics. So like I have a lot of MSc physics subscribers, and this is not for you. Uh, this is for 12th standard students. So uh, I think IIT uh, Roorkee also started a physics course after like uh, two years ago or something like that. And I I don't know anything about that. So this is for the specific IIT Madras BS plus MS physics course. Now why not ICER? Uh, well, you can go for ICER. I I would recommend if you if you want to go for ICER. Uh, because there is a um, lot of research environment there which lacks in IIT like there is research but then it's engineering and then it's uh, again it, it focused on immediate application like electric vehicles or whatever uh, and you would be a bit disconnected from all that while in ICER like for example in ICER Pune you, you don't get a BS plus MS in physics, for example, you just get a BS plus MS in sciences, and you can do a whole cocktail of courses from all these sciences. We don't have a lot of uh, like we have chemistry courses, but they are all MSc level. Like we, none, none of it is designed for UGs. So uh, you, you can do maths courses a lot in IIT Madras. You could do biology courses. I'm doing an evolutionary biology course right now, um, but this degree in uh, IIT Madras is physics. Like it's. It's, it's not like a general BS plus MS degree. In ICER for two years, you'll also have to do um, all the courses like PCMB. In IIT, you don't have to do that. But you do have to do three ke chemistry courses. Uh, there's one mandatory life sciences course for everyone. You have to do three humanities courses. I'm doing my sixth now because, you know, humanity. And you have to do four maths courses. And apart from that, you have to do department like there, there's a lot of electives, but this is you, you're going to be a physicist from beginning to end. While as in ICER, you can decide what you want to be physics, maths, biology, and you can also do minors, etc. Uh, I, I guess after end of the second year, but it depends on the ICER, etc. I, I don't know a lot about it. So you should do your own research. The reason I had selected IIT Madras was because, well, the tag, I wanted to become an IIT and I had studied and spent a lot of money on JE coaching and I didn't want to, you know, I wanted to become an IIT. Like it, it's, people respect you. It's just, uh, it's good feeling. Uh, there's also a lot of stereotypes and there's very, like, there's a problem with the gender ratio and you, you might think that I'm being shallow or something, but no, it affects you. Uh, it, 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 like, you know, I'll, I'll come, <laughs> maybe I'll, I'll talk about it later, but it, it, it is a problematic thing. Like, there's only 10 people in this branch, okay? So it's it's a very small branch and like in the whole 850, 900, whatever uh, first year undergrads, you're going to be neglected. People wouldn't know you exist. They'll think you are engineering physics or your MSc physics and things like that. Uh, so yeah, that's there. But that also comes with um, advantages. Like for example, when we wanted to go to Big Joshi, it's a national science camp by IISC in Bangalore. Bengaluru so we all got to go 
Wireless or ISAS, they, they use some unit test results to uh, select 20 people and a lot of our friends couldn't come and it, it sucked because it didn't matter how much we scored, we all of us went, got to go. Another thing is, uh, if they want to take like one physics intern or something from IIT Madras, then you might get it because your friends are going in other tech. I am the only person who wants to go into astronomy from my branch. Like there is others with cosmology and uh, theoretical physics and nonlinear dynamics, whatever. But they have different interests than me so we will not be applying in the same thing uh, so I'll get a lot of attention being the only person who is applying that's a good thing uh, and again being just 10 people we are like a family placements or internships you can go for placements you can definitely go except that there is no team yet like every branch has a placement team and I'm not sure how that really works because I'm not sitting for placements uh, you, you so people sit with the engineering physics people for placements and you can go in like it depends on what you have studied to go like a lot of like most I, I i don't know the statistics but a lot of people i would even say most people uh go for non-core jobs especially those not from cs uh, electrical or mechanical etc they uh, like for chemical or metallurgical they study the the things that that the employers are looking for as skills and then you apply for those jobs like analytic jobs like currently the highest paying jobs are like i don't know anything i, sh I really shouldn't talk about it but you could go into those jobs especially if you study maths if you study coding and i mean physics is just gonna make you smart so it, it's fine and a lot of jobs are management so you, like uh i don't know anyone who's going into mba after doing this but i suppose you can um you can also go into technical fields uh, uh, but let's not get into that i don't really have like 12 minutes already so internships uh, i did in germany i did in max planck institute for astronomy <laughs> i'm proud of that uh, so it, it was fun you have to do research internships uh, you there, there is credit for that um, but I don't know, it's just a random point I wrote, so I'm just gonna move on now. Uh, I'll tell you the course content, which is the most important point and I still haven't come to it. So the the course content is two years plus two years plus one year. So the first two years going to be, I wouldn't really call it UG because it's, 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 so in the first step, first year you do everything with the engineering for except the thermodynamics course is different and you do a spectroscopy chemistry course but you learn things like programming introduction to programming then uh, there is the lab courses physics chemistry labs and there is these first two maths courses introduction to 3d variables and um, uh, series and matrices and you do basic physics courses you do a humanities course i did german too um, and after the first year, second year is kind of filler because I this humanities courses there is a few physics courses like electronics um, and there is lab like you'll have lab for first seven semesters uh, physics lab and the later labs are much fun the, the pre first few labs are boring uh, the, so the third year you get, you start uh, the the core physics so third year you start sitting with the msc folk so those people who have done their bsc they have admit gotten admitted in msc program at iit madras you just start with them like you sit with them uh, you share the class with them and uh, in second year you learn mathematical physics etc but in third year you start the core physics which is classical physics quantum mechanics statistical physics well mathematical physics again uh, uh i guess that's that's kind of it uh and then after that you can go for uh, more specific topics in physics like classical field theory quantum field theory general relativity special relativity will be taught in other courses well i think i missed electromagnetism that that's in the core physics part then you have to do a few departmental courses uh, there is a restricted choice between electives you can choose not to do something like condensed matter physics is uh, like something i did but then i didn't do the second part of it there is high energy physics uh, general relativity uh, optics and photonics and things like that okay so it and there is other things like nanophotonics which i did uh, stochastic processes um, uh, low temperature physics 
uh, thin films, but it doesn't matter. You can you can search IIT Madras Physics BS plus MS curriculum, and you can check this out. And I really implore you to do it. Uh, in the fifth year, you have some courses, but mostly you have the MSc project. So MSc thesis, master's thesis that you would be doing. You could do it with others. Uh, I'm. I have a guide outside the institute and I have a co-guide in the institute so I'll because I'm an astronomy and there's astronomer and there is no astronomy in the department unfortunately the first two years are UG kind of filler kind of thing and then they just put you with the MSc so it's not really a well structured structured course like the ICER courses so this is a kind of like a things strapped together like the MSc you will be doing an MSc entirely uh, and the fifth year would be for project and other courses like there is a credit requirement you have to do a certain number of courses until like you graduate half of the courses you do will be electives they all won't be free electives but uh, there will be some restricted like you have to do these many electives from humanities department or maths department uh, or physics department as my it's uh, the core department so and others will be completely free so do whatever you want like for example i'm doing a physiology right now so that's that's not really uh, that's a free elective all right uh, fees so fees are crazy dude like in icer you have good like you have less fees uh, here you have like for me uh, it was one lakh seven thousand tuition fees per semester and uh, some 23,000, 26, it just kept increasing 23, 26 like that hostel fees, hostel and mess internet all these things so it's kind of expensive yes in the fifth year you don't have to you have, you have to pay the mtech fees which is like 30,000 I don't know because they didn't send it yet because you know it's quarantine children so I don't have an idea about what the fee is going to be for this year fifth year but it's not going to be UG fee uh, that, but you get a scholarship most of you might depends uh, you have to be either have a rank in under 10,000 in your respective category or you have to be 1% or top 1% in your boards um, and you have to be studying science so if you satisfy these two criteria you get inspire scholarship from the department of science and technology which is about 60,000 a year and plus 20,000 you get for projects and you can use it together like if I haven't used it in four years so suddenly I can use one lakh uh, for if I want to go abroad and do a project so that's there uh, you get 60,000 in inspire amount so that kind of compensates for it uh, but not fully obviously it, it's it, but slightly I guess that's it uh, I covered everything I wanted to that's very impressive because okay 20 minutes wow I don't know if anyone is watching at this point uh, I hope this helped and if this helped please share it around and you can consider subscribing because I might make some of these more videos about physics and sciences and educational videos and whatever you want to listen so thank you for watching I doubt anyone is watching it at this point